I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, but, yeah, um, ignore that, I guess. Okay, uh, we're live again. Okay. And it looks like CPU usage is going down. Thank you. Fuck. Let's get let's get the fucking stream stats somewhere. Okay, so let's Get on with Dark Sea 2. Maybe we'll fucking finish it today. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm a bit late. I was watching some other stream. I was relaxing and then 10 o'clock rolled around, r around and I was like, oh, fuck. Stop here. Yeah. yeah. This music is perfect. <coughs> this music is very accurate to the experience. Tell me someone's gonna watch. Finding my way through the Hall of Mirrors and returning to the center of the Dark World wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. Matrix verified as privileged worker. Access permitted. This creature looks like the stuffed animal I just won. While it's not exactly cute, it seems friendly enough. Interesting. I can't put my hand into the hole. It's so cold, I'm afraid my hand would freeze up. Oh, Mike, you fucking coward. It's too cold. Eh. God, I'm in, I'm sorry if I'm in a bitter mood, but like I have to play Dark Seed too. Tinnitus. I can't see any effect that the magnet has had on the machine, at least not in this world. Speak to me. To be sorry. To be not able to produce power. To be implanted with biofunction resistor. Okay, can we please get out of here? Like the tinnitus room. Fucking hate ear ringing sounds. You know, a few months ago, or I think like a year ago, there was that one fucking car commercial where some fucker decided it was a good fucking idea to have an ear ringing sound. And whoever fucking, like, decided that has to be fucking slapped in the fucking face. I'm sorry. Every time that ad came on the fucking television, I was like fucking pissed. I was like, 
out of all the fucking things to put in your fucking car commercial, why that? Fucking hate ear ringing sound effects, because I have to deal with that shit in my left ear constantly. <clears throat> God fucking damn it. Bartender talked to me and killed him. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach. The dragon guard. I can't reach. Just looking at this maggoty carcass makes me sick. No wonder nobody's eating here. God damn it, Mike, you're such a dumbass. I can't reach it. To be sorry. To be not. Massager sure it's heavy, but I think I'll be able to lug it around with me. Surprised. The keeper of the scrolls said that I could find the spy goth behind the recreation center, and this looks like the place's only back door. This is the Keeper's best spy? No wonder they lost to the Ancients. I don't know anything about Dark World biology, but this creature looks deathly ill. Yes. The Keeper of the Scrolls sent me. I thought so. The Ancients haven't seized control of your side yet. Can you do something for me? I am dying. What happened to you? I was trampled during a skirmish with the troopers at Tau Square. My exoskeleton is broken. There is no one I can go to. The healers are all dead. Killed by the ancients. What can I do for you? I am in great pain. But the medicines are gone. The drugs are no longer being manufactured. I need something to sedate me.
I saw people using drugs in the building outside. No! Those drugs are used by the ancients to enslave the masses. I need medicine. Hello, one viewer. Can you speak? I don't know where to find the medicine you need. You have drugs in the normal world, don't you? Painkillers? That is the only thing that can help me now. I can bring you some drugs from the normal world. Please, hurry. I do not know how much longer I can cling to consciousness. God, it's me, Mike Dawson, from the normal world. Oh, God. Yes? Did you find a sedative? What did you bring me? Came back to see how you <laughs> You humans are a strange people. I am feeling pain. That will not change unless you bring me drugs. Now go. What the hell is God anyways? God, it's me. Yes? I have to talk to you first. No. The pain is too great. I am having difficulty maintaining my mental construct. I need medicine. Alright, fine, you fuck. Hey, look at the penis. That looks like a crossbow. What an archaic weapon to find in the dark world. Something vile is heating in the stove. I can't tell what it is, and I don't want to know. That's a fucking stove? That's a penis. This is the most horrid collection of junk I've ever seen. Someone watches and chats or some shit. It's like, goddamn, I don't want to suffer through this alone. of my act. What do you want? Mr. Gargon, won't you please lift that anvil so that I can get the clown's medicine? I already told you! No! I'm through doing favors for people. No one ever does anything for me. Now stop interrupting my act. so heavy. Let's get it off our hands. 
Hey, Gargon, I bet you can't lift this. We're lifting it right now. Here comes the best line. Here comes the best line. Come on, you idiot. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I can lift anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Gargon. Are you all right? Why, I feel great! I don't know what you did, kid, but it sure beats those pills I've been taking. <laughs> I'm turning over a new leaf. No more feeling sorry for myself. No more rumors! Now will you lift the ice chest for me? I have to get something for the clown. I'm afraid I have some bad news about the clown. He died earlier today. Something about not getting his medicine in time. But he was alive like a few seconds ago. How the... What's this about no more rumors? Well, I... I... This is embarrassing. But I've been purposely spreading rumors about the carnival because I was so depressed. When you feel bad about yourself, it somehow helps when everything else seems bad. Yeah, I guess so. You've been taking pills? Yeah. Antidepressants. Painkillers. But heck, I don't need them anymore. Why don't you take them? Give them to someone who's really in pain. Well, we know someone who's really in pain. Excuse me, Gargon. Hey, friend. What can I do for you? Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Gargon? Thanks. But you've done more than enough for me already. I've got a whole new outlook on life now, and you know what? I think people like my act better for it. Here, let me show you. I guess no one's going to replace the clown at the ticket booth. This carnival doesn't seem to care much about making money. I mean, we already know that. This leads to the center of town. Beginning to subside. How do you feel? I feel the pain no longer. But that does not change the fact that I will die soon. At least I will be able to enjoy the experience. Now it's your turn to help me. I'm told you know all about the ancients. 
No one knows all there is to know about the ancients, except the ancients. But I do know about their current plans. Why did the ancients conquer your world? They are life force scavengers. They travel from planet to planet, feeding off the life force from each world they visit. It sustains them while they sleep in their spaceship and ponder the universe. Checking something. Why would the ancients be interested in my world? They have nearly siphoned off the life force from this world, as well as most of the other planets in my universe. They need new regions to harvest. Your world, for example. Just what are the ancients' current plans? They've created a creature called the Behemoth that is able to live on your side. You realize that we dark world inhabitants are not capable of crossing the barrier. I already know this. Why did the ancients create this behemoth? This creature was designed to collect the life force of the human race and deliver it to the ancients. Once the behemoth passes through the barrier into your world, it will become invincible. There is one dark world who can exist in the normal world. You speak of the shapeshifter. Yes, but he can exist on your side only for short periods of time. Long enough to bring back a human head for the ancient's power generator. Tell me about you and your undercover work for the Keepers. I have been part of the underground movement against the ancients for a long time. A very long time. But it appears that my labors are near an end. Tell me more about the underground movement. The Keepers organized us to revolt against the Ancients, but we underestimated the Ancients' power. We're all but completely slaughtered. If you couldn't stop the Ancients, then how can I? The points of the triangle are the only way. Gather the three points, the light, the scrolls, and the sword. The troopers seized the light. The scrolls are locked up in the Hall of Justice. Where is the Sword of Justice? The shapeshifter has it. After the Keeper of the Sword was crucified, the ancients gave it to the shapeshifter as a reward for his services in the normal world. Where can I find the shapeshifter? No one knows where he lives. I'm sure he is well protected by the ancients. He is their most trusted agent, after all. What do I do with the points? The ancients power generator. I've had a good look at it. You can overload it with the points energy. Send their spaceship a power surge that not even the ancients can withstand. How the fuck do they do anything in this world if we're like the one ones who actually move? How do I use the points Shut on the up, generator? Windows. With the light, illuminate that which is dark. With the scrolls, 
feed the truth into that which is false, and with the sword, sever that which should never have been joined. You've been very helpful. I'll let you rest now. Before you leave, take my crossbow. It emits a magnetic field. It may prove useful to you. Can this crossbow be used to magnetize metal? I suppose so. We used it to disrupt communications. There is very little metal in the dark world. Really? Why do you ask? Oh, God. I need to win a game in my world. This crossbow might help. Games, he says. Were the keepers wrong about this one? Rest, human. You are not worth my remaining energy. Oh, God. Goth, I think you misunderstood how I plan to use the crossbow. Let me die in peace, human. Either blow up the ancient spaceship or play your games. I don't care anymore. Now go! Use it wisely, human. The power is low, and I don't know how many shots are left. generates a magnetic field around its target. Goth said that this Goth said that <laughs> I'd like to play this game. Yeah, be careful, the ring's heavy. Bullseye, a winner! Drive the carnival out of business if I keep winning prizes like this. I'd like to play this game. Eh, sorry, pal. You already won. Matrix verified as privileged worker. Access permitted. Machine stopped working. 
Except for stopping its power output, this machine doesn't seem to mind that another creature has merged with it. Something wrong? I have like 42 followers and you're telling me none of them fucking watch me? What an odd sensation. I know that these are the scrolls of wisdom. I'm as certain of that as I've been of anything. Interesting. Although I can't understand the language on these scrolls, I have the feeling that there is great wisdom here. Awesome. dirt but it's very faint it reminds me of when i helped to lower my father's casket into his grave all right the fucked up toilet room who am i to disturb these people in their blissful misery is that even a person these dark worlders seem to enjoy their tortures and why the fuck should i help them These must be the controls for the power door. Guess what's in here? Oh no! <laughs> Not the hall of death again. Uh, the only way out of here uh, is death. Uh, oh, Mike, you're dead. Oh, time to die. What happened to me? Hey, I'm back in the underworld. to me. Hello again, Michael. You have destroyed your biomatter once more, I see. Whose blood are you going to spill this time? Attend! Hey, it plays. Sacrifice this time. The blood of the food hall proprietor now flows among the dead. The Dricketh Guard executed him after learning he had provided you with food. Damn. Why, that's terrible. Much blood is on your hands, Michael. If you 
continue to fail, their sacrifices will be in vain. Please, let me out of here. You are free to go, Michael. Farewell. And do not forget those who have died so that you may carry out your quest to save both our lives. I'm sorry to bother you again, Mrs. Ramirez. Is that so? And what do you want to bother me about? I just heard about how Mr. Ramirez died. I want to express my condolences. Thank you. It was a terrible tragedy. I don't know how I'll go on without my dear husband. I'm sorry that I never had an opportunity to meet your husband. Why, I'm surprised. He was the most prominent attorney in town. A very successful man, and a charitable one, too. If he had lived, I have no doubt he would have eventually donated all his wealth to various noble causes. Mike? I suppose that Sheriff Butler was in charge of investigating the fire. Yes, and he found nothing to indicate foul play, despite what the insurance company says. Interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Ramirez. I appreciate your time. God be with you, young man. I'm sorry to bother you. Is that so? I couldn't help but notice all the- I do not care- What? I'm sorry to bother you. Is that so? I was just admiring- Young man, I believe- Did I get myself into an unwinnable- Excuse me, Mrs. What is it this- I was wondering if you knew Rita Scanlon, the woman who was murdered nearby last week. Only too well, young man. She was the devil's tool, I tell you! Just how well did you know Rita? Well enough to know she tried to seduce my late husband. She was a harlot! She deserved what happened to her. Oh my god. Did you murder Rita? Oh god. Don't be ridiculous. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. What happened to her was divine retribution. I had nothing to do with it. Well, I think I've answered enough of your questions for now. Good day. Excuse me, Mrs. Ramirez. What is it this time, young Why do you think the town is- I do not care- I'm sorry to bother you again. Is that so? So your family- Young man. Excuse me, Mrs. Ramirez. What is it this time, young man? I was just admiring- you. Young man. How do I do this game again? Fuck. I have to.
to go to the... It's no. locked. Mom loves her flowers. The flowers aren't... I'm not tired. Why do I play games just to suffer? No one watches. Why as well just play it alone? It's like old times. Oh, now we finally triggered it. I'm here to collect my final payment. Quick, get in before someone sees you. <clears throat> Why, that was Jimmy Gardner. What's that thug doing here? Come on, lady. You still owe me one last payment for the torch job. Fork it over. You need to learn that patience is a virtue, young man. The money's been coming in slow from the insurance company, that's all. Here's the rest of what I owe you. Bless you for your help. Oh my god. Mrs. Ramirez is handing Jimmy a wad of bills. Jimmy is still counting his money. I've got to take a picture of this. Jack didn't believe my suspicions about Jimmy. Wait till he gets a load of this. I better get out of here before they see presence known while Jimmy Gardner is inside. I can't wait to show Jack this photo of Mrs. Ramirez paying off Jimmy. That's a camera, you idiot. Are you gonna get it developed? Is it a Polaroid? Nobody's answering the door. I don't see anyone inside. Interesting. I guess Mrs. Maria Ramirez just fucks off from the plot. I have a splitting headache. I better go see Dr. Sims. Why, hello, Mike. How are you feeling today? Terrible. I've got another one of those headaches. I see. Well, I think we can take care of that after we have a little chat. God. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Yeah, I don't know, Doc. I've learned something about Rita's murder. <clears throat> what have you learned? How did you learn it? I think Rita's murderer is a shapeshifter from the Dark World. Oh god, Mike. Do you have any proof of this? Er, uh, no. I'm working on it, though. I see. Tell me, Mike, what else has been troubling you lately? I've been having more dreams. More dreams about your dark world? I visited there again. The ancients are hatching a new plot against humanity. Is that so? Just what are they planning to do? They're trying to take over the Earth. Oh, Mike, God, I Mike. think this fantasy of yours is getting out of hand. Let's have no more talk about the so-called ancients for a while. These headaches are going to kill me. When did this last one begin? A little while ago. I was out for a walk at the park. I stopped by the Ramirez mansion. And what did you see? Well, I'd rather not talk about it. 
Let's talk about it, Mike. Mike, you're not going to get better unless you completely confide in me. Let's just get on with the hypnosis, okay? All right. We'll hypnotize you now. Relax. Empty your mind and stare at the spot on the ceiling. You're feeling sleepy. You are calm. At peace. Here's part of it. I'll have the rest tomorrow. Oh no, the, the fucking FMV is fucked up. Oh no, god damn it, this was a pivotal scene. Mike? Are you awake? Oh well, you How can do you find feel it now? on YouTube. No one's watching anyways. No one missed shit. The quicker we get done with this game, the better. I feel much better. Thanks, Dr. Sims. I'm gratified to know it's working so well for you. We have a few minutes. Let's talk a little before you go. You were talking during your dream. What did I say? Quite a bit. You're angry with the mayor, aren't you? Why do you think I'm angry with the mayor? Your dream. It sounded like the mayor's wife was plotting with Jimmy to murder her husband. What? I'm angry at Jimmy. He killed Mr. Ramirez for having an affair with Rita. You're projecting, right? I think you're the one who was jealous of Rita. Rita and I were just friends. We both saw other people. You've never mentioned you had anyone else in your life, Mike. I'm not the jealous type, if that's what you think. Huh. Not even when you learned she was flirting with Mr. Ramirez and Mayor Fleming? How do you fucking know? Doctor, I think you're wrong about my feelings for Rita. Well, maybe. But that's about all the time we have today. Give some more thought to what we discussed. And if your headaches return, see me. Well, that's it. Looks like the power to the entire block has been shut off. The door is locked. I can't believe it. Here's a sign saying that the diner has been closed by the health department because of a rat infestation. That doesn't make sense. Hank keeps the diner spotless. The door is locked. Slim is a goofy looking character. Hi, Slim. I'm still trying to follow up on that Melissa. Oh, that's a very. You do that, Mr. Yeah, that's right. I have to talk to Jack. Flowers aren't full. Here comes Jack. Guess what? I have a photo of Mrs. Ramirez paying off Jimmy for killing her husband. Yeah. I don't think it's a coincidence that his name keeps turning up. What do you mean?
What's the connection between Jimmy and the Sheriff? Well, Jimmy told you he had the inside goods on the Sheriff. I guess he was talking about the bribery charges. What's the connection between Jimmy and Doc Larson? Jimmy's name was listed in Doc Larson's little black book. Knowing Jimmy, he probably helped round up girls for the good doctor. What's the connection between Jimmy and the mayor? There isn't one. Oh, wait a second. He's very fond of the mayor's wife, Melissa. So you think he was angry that Rita was a homewrecker? Hey, I'm angry that a married man was fooling around with her. Oh, well, before you go ripping somebody's head off, I'd check out their story. On my way over here, I saw Jimmy go into the pool hall. Why don't you go have a man-to-man -man with him? All right. Look out, Jimmy. I've been suspicious of you for some time, Jimmy Gardner. The liquor store robbery, the Lindbergh kidnapping, but what? now I'm convinced you murdered Rita Scanlon. Listen that. good, Slim. I'm getting real sick of your crazy talk. Now shut your mouth before I shut it for you. All right. You don't frighten me none, Jimmy Gardner. This here letter proves you're a killer. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. That does it, you loon. You stuck your nose where it doesn't belong, and now you're gonna pay for it! Hey, stop picking on him, Jimmy. Put that gun away. Let's see if you're brave enough to take me on, man to man. Oh god, Mike. <laughs> oh god. Hey, okay, Mikey boy? What... what happened? I had a feeling you were spoiling for a fight with Jimmy, and I thought you could use some help. Looks like I was right. You can thank me later. I've got to run. Wait a minute. Where did Slim run off to? There's not Slim. Jimmy's knocked out cold. Jimmy's knocked out cold. Slim doesn't look well. What the hell is going on, Slim? Oh, come in, Mr. Dawson. Thanks for helping me out back there. What was this evidence you said you have against Jimmy? It's a love letter written by Rita to Melissa's husband. It seems she was having a fling with our honorable mayor. Understand what Jimmy has to do with all of this. The night before the high school reunion, I saw Melissa give Jimmy a big wad of money. That seemed mighty suspicious, especially after how Jimmy turned Mr. Ramirez into a crispy critter. You know that Jimmy caused the Ramirez fire? Don't act so surprised, Mr. Dawson. Most people just think I'm a crazy fool, so they tend to talk a little carelessly when I'm around. I've heard it all. And then some. How did you get a hold of this letter? Oh, I snatched it out of Melissa's purse earlier today. I knew she was involved in some kind of conspiracy, and I just needed a motive. Gosh darn if I didn't find one. Oh, God. What? Mm. 
my god, the scroll wheel can do that? What first led you to suspect Melissa? I've seen Melissa go into the pool hall regularly the past few weeks. Now, that isn't the proper place for a mayor's wife, is it? God so I've swim. been keeping my eye on her. I noticed you collect a lot of things, but how could you stoop to picking a woman's purse? Well, Mr. Dawson, sometimes you have to bend the rules a little in the pursuit of justice. I am the town's sole protector, after all. You know, Slim, there is a lot of evil in the world. You got that right, Mr. Dawson. That's why I prefer my own delusions. Thanks for helping to clear my name. Next time you have a conspiracy theory, I'm going to listen. All right. My pleasure. But I'm going to give it a rest for now. My fillings are picking up radio transmissions from outer space again, and I'm starting to get a headache. Do you mind if I hand the letter and Jimmy's gun over to the sheriff, Slim? Go ahead. Sheriff Butler wouldn't pay it any attention if I gave them to him. He didn't even believe me the time I found Jimmy Hoffa's grave. Take them. They're yours. I can almost forgive I can almost forgive Jimmy when I read this letter Rita wrote to Mayor Fleming. I'm surprised Melissa didn't have her pervert husband killed too. What? I can almost forgive Jimmy when I read this letter Rita wrote to Mayor Fleming. I'm surprised Melissa didn't have her pervert husband killed too. What? What? It looks like Jimmy took good care of his gun, but there aren't any bullets in it. So what the fuck was Jimmy gonna fucking do? What the hell was Jimmy gonna do? Is he just scaring a fucking homeless man? How are you feeling, Slim? You don't look well. My head still hurts, Mr. Dawson. I'm not up for conversing, I'm afraid. I need to rest a spell. Slim, I have some more questions. Sorry, Mr. Dawson. I'm not feeling myself right now. Let me just rest a while. All right. Yeah, what the fuck was, like, Jimmy gonna do with, like... Jimmy's gone. I've got to find him before he kills more people for the generator. Oh god, Mike. Trigger mechanism of this gun of interest to you? Let me see that. Well, is it something you can use? Ah, uh, yes. This will do quite nicely. It's a trade, then. Here, let me attach your biomechanical arm. Oh, God. Cool! I just wanted to thank you for giving me this biomechanical arm. It's cool! One warning, Organic One. This weapon is intelligent. It will only shoot at non-sentience. After all, I don't think you are. I don't want to know. What good is it? What's new? Nothing. 
I'm one of the enslaved masses, remember? Well, this is all very interesting, but I must be leaving. I'm sure I'll be back. Whatever. No, I am very busy and must get back to work. Smith built this biomechanical machine gun so I can quickly attach it to my arm whenever I need it. Mechanical limbs are probably much faster than my human ones. Here. I guess the trigger must have jammed, but I hit every target, so I think I still earned a prize. You can have your prize, but I don't want to see your face around here again. Okay. That was some pretty nice shooting there, Dawson. You seem awfully handy with a weapon. Getting tired of you hounding me. Well, you better start getting used to it. The mayor's been murdered. Oh, Who do you think it is? Like I said before, Dawson, you're my number one suspect. Nothing you've said or done convinces me otherwise. Maybe you knocked off Mayor Fleming because of Rita. Or maybe you had other reasons. I don't know anything about it. What happened? The FBI is examining the body right now. I'm on the lookout for suspects who've been to the park during the last hour. I didn't do it, Sheriff. It was Jimmy Gardner. Jimmy Gardner? Don't make me laugh. He's a two-bit punk, not some psycho cutthroat. I've got a letter implicating Jimmy. Melissa hired him to kill Rita for having an affair with the mayor. All right, Dawson. I'll talk to Jimmy about this letter. But stick around in case the feds or I have any more questions for you. All right. go see Dr. Sims. I have a splitting. I 
almost thought that Kanye guy was going to punch me out for demolishing his shooting gallery, but he gave me the prize anyway. Why, hello, Mike. I'm surprised to see you again so soon. Sir fucking Lord. My head is killing me, Dr. Sims. What happened? Didn't you hear? Mayor Fleming's been murdered in the park. I heard, Mike. Doc Larson told me that he had performed the autopsy. Doc Larson? That pervert. Why do you say that, Mike? Are you jealous of the relationship he enjoyed with Rita? It's not that. I told you before I wasn't jealous of Rita. Of course, Mike. I'm worried there's going to be more murders, Dr. Sims. The whole town shares your concern, Mike. It's my fault, Dr. Sims. I know who the killer is, but I let him escape. Don't blame yourself, Mike. Capturing criminals is the responsibility of the police. You don't understand. The Keeper of the Scrolls chose me to stop the Ancients. Mike, you really must resist these fantasies about the Dark World. There's no shapeshifter going around and murdering people. Why all the fucking murders? I think I need more hypnosis. I agree, Mike. Let's try another session. Let's put the spot on the work, ceiling. This is probably the best wow. place. Close your eyes. Welcome back, folks. Our guest today on Let's Make a Death is Mike Dawson. How are you, Mike? Okay, I guess. What's going on, Paul? It's your lucky day, Mike. You get to choose one of three holograms and learn something about this mystery you're trying to solve. Which hologram will it be? Uh, hologram number one, please. Hologram number one is the lovely Rita Scanlon, alive and well. Mike, you're so wrapped up in your own little world. You didn't kill me. You know, you really ought to read more. I could have helped you like I did Mr. Ramirez, the mayor, and Doc Larson. Ouch! Not quite the reunion you hoped for, was it? Choose another hologram. Hologram number two. Hologram number two is the not-so-honorable Mayor Fleming. You know, Mike, you and Rita just didn't have the right kind of interest. You just didn't click the way she and I did, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy, I think I got the picture. And so did you, Mike, when you found those photos of Rita in the mayor's car. I bet that got your engine running. Choose another hologram. Hologram number three. Hologram three is a real smooth operator, Doc Larson. Rita didn't have much time for you, Mike, but she somehow found time to bring me my medical textbooks. You don't suppose that got her interested in playing doctor, do you? Are you jealous, Mike? That's what you get for sneaking into my office and stealing my little black book! What? That must have been a bitter pill to swallow. I'm sorry, Mike. <clears throat> There's no prize for you in any of the holograms. But we do have a lovely parting gift for you. So what, All Doc Larson, the hardware uh, you'll ever need. Doc Larson just cucks Mike because a of what he did. A beautiful in the set of steak knives. Sharp enough to cut again and again and again. <laughs> Mike? Are you awake? How do you feel now? God, what a dream I had. It was awful. What did you dream about this time? You were mumbling, but I couldn't really understand the words. Rita was in my dream. She told me Jimmy Gardner didn't kill her. Did she tell you who did kill her? Did 
Jimmy Gardner isn't the killer. It might have been Paul Cooper. Mike, I think you're becoming obsessed with these murders. I want you to go home and rest. Try to get your mind off them. It's all so confusing. Maybe Jack can make sense of it. Huh. I really wish you'd stop seeing this Jack fellow. I think he's bad for you. Damn it, Dr. Sims. Stop bad-mouthing Jack. Please, Mike. Calm down. I'm sorry, Dr. Sims. Jack's my only friend. I can see that Jack's a sensitive subject for you. Let's not talk about him now. What else did you get out of your dream? I'm feeling a little better. At least my headache's gone again. Well, that's good to hear, Mike. How do you feel about the mayor's death now? That bastard Fleming Gobble was coming to him. <laughs> Michael, don't say such things. Your dream must have tapped into some buried anger. Don't worry, Dr. Sims. I think I'm getting better. I'd like to go now. <laughs> Very well, Mike. Now just go home and try to get some rest. Okay, Dr. Sims. I'll try. I think it's for the best. God, here comes the best part. Here comes the best part. Excuse me. Mike Dawson? <coughs> Special Agent Gannon, FBI. May I have a word with you? Oh, boy. I have nothing to say to you. You're not leaving until I get some answers from you. What do you want to know? When was the last time you saw Mayor Fleming? A lie. Why are you talking to me? I'll ask the questions, Dawson. I'm the cop. You're the suspect. Got it? You think I killed the mayor, don't you? I don't think it, Dawson. I know it. We ran a background check on you. Our behavioral science people peg you as a psycho. But I found a letter that proves Jimmy Gardner killed Rita. I gave it to Sheriff Butler. Butler's off the case. I'm in charge now. And as for your friend Jimmy Gardner, he's in the hospital. Coma. Furthermore, Doc Larson places the mayor's time of death sometime after you attacked Gardner. Killer. Larson's lying. He was involved with Rita. He's the psycho. Right, Dawson. Everybody's a psycho but you. No wonder Rita dumped you. Is that why you killed her? I loved Rita. I didn't touch her. Come on, punch him. Oh, yeah? It sure sounds like everyone else did. Punch she dressed up in leather for the mayor. She was doing the nasty with Doc Come Larson. On. But nothing for poor Mike. On, Makes you mad bed. enough to Come kill. On. Doesn't punch him, you fuck. Punch him, uh, do something based. Uh, yes. Oh no. I think I'm really in trouble. I need to talk to Jack. Yeah, one for the good guys. And Terry A. Davis would be proud. Glowy got what was coming to him. The flowers are in full bloom. Here comes Jack. I hit an FBI agent. Awesome. Smart move, Ace. Why'd you do that? I got angry. He made some comment about Doc Larson and I just flipped out. I can't blame you, Mike. The idea of him and Rita together would drive me crazy, too. Not to mention Mayor Fleming. The 
The mayor's been murdered. His head was cut off, just like Rita's. What? Another murder? Maybe Mrs. Ramirez was right. Maybe Rita got what she deserved. Hey, none of that talk, Mikey boy. It takes two to tango, you know? Both Mayor Fleming and Doc Larson are Class A leches. I'd like to clobber them myself. By the way, thanks for helping me back at the pool hall. No problemo. I had a feeling you'd try to take Jimmy's head off. So, did he fess up? Oh, God. Jimmy's not our man. He was unconscious when the mayor was killed. That's real bad news, Mikey boy, because I'm fresh out of leads. I think you're going to be swinging a sledgehammer the rest of your life. Sledgehammer? Wait a second. Uh. Paul Cooper, the hardware store owner. He's involved in all this somehow. I just had a dream about him. Man, you're losing it. Instead of grasping at straws, you should be putting your affairs in order. Look, I'll be a character witness for you at the trial, but I think I've outlived my usefulness here. Take care, Mike. off. I wouldn't be surprised to find something inside this filing cabinet linking Sheriff Butler to the Dark World. Oh, God. I always thought of myself as a liberal, but the thought of only the police having firearms frightens me. Now arm up. shooting gallery turned into a dark world creature too. Matrix verified as privileged worker. Access permitted. Talk Larson. Can't exactly say he didn't deserve his fate. But there's only one more head left to go. If the shapeshifter isn't Jimmy, who could it be? Paul? This is the design room for my first visit to the Dark World. I recognize this from my first trip here. It's a holographic projection desk. These are the plans for the ancient's attempt to hatch an embryo in my skull. It really did happen to me. Well, I mean, it's, uh... This chair makes me feel very uneasy. I stay on my feet. 
I'm feeling very lightheaded, and if I sat down, I might not be able to get up again. I better stay on my feet. I'll never forget this ghastly thing. The ancients used it to open my skull. I see it in my nightmares all the time. Whenever I look at this hideous thing, I feel a throbbing where the ancients pried open my head and implanted the embryo. Oh yeah, the head vagina. this from a Paul's compulsive about watering his lawn. Just the kind of behavior for a killer. Oh God, boy. Lawn furniture on the roof? That's just too bizarre. This door looks like the only way to enter the house. I can't open the door. Not with Paul watering right in front of it. Still watering your lawn, Paul? Yes. The grass is real thirsty. Can't seem to get enough water. Oh, God. What's up? Paul, why is there lawn furniture on your roof? I had to move it out of the way. Didn't want it to get rusty with the watering and all. Oh, Jesus. Good luck with your watering, Paul. I'm taking off. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Mike. Thanks for dropping by. Hey! What happened to the water? This is too weird for words. There's no doubt that Paul is crazy enough to be a killer. Now I have to find some hard evidence to connect him to the murders. It's locked. Paul must have all sorts of dirty little secrets hidden in these drawers. Oh God. Damn it, no one's watching. Paul's bedroom looks fairly normal. In fact, it kind of resembles my own room. <laughs> the neon cactus? A neon cactus. How charming. This fruitcake is probably into country music, too. Oh, God. Tick paid his water bill in advance up through the end of the year. Paul's desk, or at least what serves as his desk, looks like he mostly uses it for paying his bills. It's full of books, mostly war novels and westerns. No unusual reading material, just the kind of books you expect any normal guy to read. Scuff marks. This bookcase must have been moved across the floor recently. A secret passage. Oh, hell yeah, let's go in. Oh my god. 
Paul's house contains a dark world portal. I was right. He is the shapeshifter. Sure about that, Mike? Paul must be a devil worshiper, too. This place is giving me the creeps. I'll be damned. I saw this book in the dark world temple. It's the Necronomicon. Hey, this picture is of Paul and Rita. And there's Mayor Fleming and Doc Larson. They're all wearing black robes. What's going on here? It's fastened to the wall. I've seen this creature before, in my dreams. The sign of the four. The four what? Maybe I don't want to know. open to a chapter about the other world. It seems that the spirits of the dead, whoever they are, are planning to send a messenger to cleanse the prime world. Oh, God. A set of keys. It's the only normal thing in this entire room. Paul must have left them here accidentally. Keep your unclean hands off my things, Mike. You're here to stop the messenger from coming, aren't you? Well, then you shall be the first to be cleansed. Oh, shit. Ow. Why did you try to kill me? I'm sorry, Mike. The voices told me to kill you. They said you were dangerous and must be stopped. What else did the voices tell you? They told us to prepare for the coming of the messenger. He will arrive any day now and cleanse the world. It has been foretold. We have seen it in our dreams. And we have prepared our souls. What do you mean you prepared your souls? Don't you see? All three murder victims were members of our other world cult. The killer has taken us first because our minds are already prepared. these voices you heard? The spirits of the dead. We contacted them a year and a half ago during a seance I conducted. They wanted things. What kinds of things did the voices want? They wanted us to worship them. They taught us a ceremony. We used it, and though we didn't realize it, we became their slaves. You mean to tell me you aren't the serial killer? Of course not, Mike. I could never have done such things. Only one as great and pure as the messenger can perform such deeds. Who's we? Rita and myself at first. Once we realized we were in contact with the spirits of the dead, we formed the other world cult so that we could maintain permanent contact. I saw a photo of you, Rita, Mayor Fleming, and Doc Larson. Taken one night during a ceremony when we were all still alive. The four of us were the Otherworld cult. 
Is that what all this occult stuff is about? Seances, contacting the dead? Yes. I've always been obsessed with occult science. That's why I formed the Other World Cult. I so wanted to make contact with my mother. She died when I was a child, you know. Paul, you're starting to look awfully pale. Everything's growing dark. Oh my god, I killed him! Paul was obviously the shapeshifter. I don't care what he said. But who's going to believe me without any proof? The police will just say that I was jealous of him too. One thing's for sure. I've got to get out of here before someone finds me with the body. Go back in. I can't go back in. Not with Paul's body lying inside. Hi, Deputy Brown. Nothing since the last... So how's the murder... Come on, Mike! The key to Paul's hardware store is probably on this key ring. Spooky, too. This door sells all kinds of hardware. No wonder Paul is so screwy. God, Mike! Forget it. I've handled enough nuts for today. someone's cash register? Yeah, you can. Uh-oh. I better get out of here. That should keep Deputy Brown busy for a while. The deputy is inside trying to figure out what set off the alarm. Guarding Rita's house now. Oh, it's so strange being inside Rita's house knowing that she's dead. I'm not tired. After we'd go out, Rita would invite me to sit down on the couch for a cup of coffee. Things never went farther than that, though. Uh. like a sick puppy around me and I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt him. <clears throat> Why that bitch? She was never really interested in me. She was just toying with me. Oh God, Mike. In a few minutes, I'm off to my reading group meeting across the street at Paul Cooper's house. Now he's somebody I'm really attracted to. 
tall, handsome, and good at fixing things around the house. I'm glad I killed that creep. Hey, whoa. Well, gotta run. Paul gave me a ticket for a free psychic reading at the carnival. I'll give it a try this weekend and let you know what the future holds for me. Kiss Dad for me. Love, Rita. Ticket for a free psychic reading? I hope Linda didn't already use it because I don't have a clue about where to go from here. I've never been in Rita's bedroom before. It's not what I imagined it would look like. The decor is so odd. Strange. I saw a picture like this in Paul's bedroom. You thought you had everything pretty much figured out, didn't you, Mikey boy? Well, I'd stop while I was ahead if I were you. The truth can be very ugly. <laughs> I can't believe that was Jack in that mirror. I can't believe that was Jack in that... There's a letter here. This card entitles the bearer to a special psychic reading from Pandora. Goth said that this crossbow gem... God, Slim's dead. Oh my God. Oh well. What role does this play in my future, Pandora? Let me see that card. Ah, why didn't you tell me you were one of the Illuminati? This entitles you to a special reading. Awesome. Mikey, there are no monsters in the closet. I feel like such an idiot. All these years thinking my closet was locked. Who knows what's inside it? You do. Do you get any readings off of this? 
I see a thief loudly proclaiming his guilt. Flowers aren't full. Mom loves her. Trust them, they're supposed to die. Mom, why didn't you ever tell me that my closet door was never really locked? Oh, my goodness, Mike, that was years ago. Don't tell me you've been afraid of your closet since then. feel like talking anymore, Mom. I'll see you later. All right. See you later, Mike. I wonder if the fortune teller was right about it not being locked. The fortune teller was right. This closet was never really locked after all. So that's what's inside. A mirror? Could this be another portal into the dark world? It's a pretty fucked up mirror. This is a dark world bedroom. Odd. It kind of resembles my own room. Oh shit, Mike. This bed seems designed to encourage nightmares. This portal leads back to my bedroom. I'm afraid to sleep here. This looks like the shoebox I keep my good shoes in. My shoes and my mom's butcher knife. They're covered in blood. Oh, God. That could only be the sword of justice. This must be the shapeshifter's home. Shapeshifter must have appreciated the ancient's reward for him to put the Sword of Justice in such an elaborate mounting. When I heft this sword, I feel like I can do no wrong. I'm back in my own kitchen, but I didn't pass through any portal. Everyone's gonna miss the best part. What do you know about your missing butcher knife? 
Here, Mike. This will explain everything. That's Rita's head. I must be hallucinating. There's something rotting inside the refrigerator. Did someone shut up the power? I'm afraid to open it. There's something rotting. The sink's clogged up with something slimy. I smell gas. I wonder if there's a leak in the oven. Rita's head. I know all about your involvement in the other world cult. All seances were just harmless fun at first. We wanted to contact dead poets and writers. But instead, we wow. contacted the ancients. Okay. So this was the reading group you were always running off to. I'm sorry I lied to you, Mike. The ancients seized control of our minds and made us do things against our will. Is it true that you became involved with Dark Larson and Mayor Fleming? Mr. Ramirez, too. But his wife had him killed before I could bring him into the cult. That was my assignment. Recruitment. Why would the ancients be interested in your seances? The ancients needed humans to make a creature able to live in the normal world indefinitely. Through the teachings of the Otherworld cult, they reprogrammed our thought patterns to interface with the power generator. Who else did you recruit? I tried to recruit Sheriff Butler and you, but failed. You were both too jealous to become members of the cult. let yourself become a pawn of the ancients. You were a pawn of the ancients too, Mike. It was your first visit to the dark world that gave the ancients enough knowledge of the normal world to engineer the behemoth. Rita, I thought you were dead. I'm dead, but have not yet departed. Unless you act soon, all of humanity will suffer a fate far worse than mine. about anyone else. Tell me who did this to you. A predator. He killed all of us one by one. Who? Oh. I know all about the shapeshifter. Where is he? You were right to look for the shapeshifter through the mirror, but you need to look much closer if you were to find him. Oh, God. I don't understand what's happening here. Mike, you poor innocent fool, you were being used and don't even realize it. But you have a chance to redeem yourself by destroying the behemoth. How can I destroy the behemoth? You can kill it only with the sword, but you must hurry, Mike. While the behemoth is still in the dark world, it is vulnerable. Once it enters the normal world, it will become invincible. sword is powerful enough to kill the behemoth? Yes, but you must use the sword before it reaches the portal to the normal world. Once the behemoth crosses over, it will grow powerful enough to destroy all of humanity with a single blow. life force is released, it can fully uh, wake the ancients from their slumber and nourish them for a virtual eternity. So much fucking war. It's the same goddamn thing. How did you learn all of this, Rita? 
my mind is connected to the ancient spaceship through the power generator. While they sleep, I hear their dreams, and their dreams become our fate. How much time do I have? The portal in the adjoining room is too small for the behemoth to pass through. Once it hatches, it will head straight for the portal in the maze, and it is hatching even as we speak. Mike, if you truly do care about me, please don't let me die with so much blood on my hands. Stop the behemoth from reaching the normal world. I must leave now. Bye, Mike. Now I'm back in the dark world. I'm sure I didn't pass through a portal this time. Perhaps time and space are warped here. Okay. Toilet. This toilet really does look like a throne. What? This toilet really does look like a throne. What about it? These must be the control. seems even more gloomy than the rest of the dark world. center and stop the behemoth from hatching. Matrix verified as privileged work. Access permitted. Wasn't the shape? Yeah. This incubator is in ruins, but that doesn't mean that the ancients can't construct another. The incubator has burst open from the inside. The behemoth is hatched. I've got to get to the portal. God. A trail leading from the incubator to the maze and the portal. spaceship. It's drawing its psychic energy from this power generator. I've got to reach the portal before the behemoth gets there.
need to find a path. Uh. Right, we did it. FMV time. Oh, hell yeah. Here it comes, let's do something. to the hall. I'm not leaving until I destroy the power generator. Getting out of this goddamn room. I need to find I need to find There's a mirror. I need to find I need to find a I did the thing and now I have to fucking get out of here. There's a mirror. I need to find there's a mirror there's a mirror there's a mirror I need to find I need to find a pen I need to there's a mirror there's a mirror I need to find I need to there's a mirror there's a mirror defeated the ancients. You have saved our people and yours. Michael. Michael. Hey, wake up, Mikey boy. Hey, wake up, Mikey boy. You've been out of it for a little while. told you not to trust those shrinks, didn't I? Where am I? You were in Dr. Sims' office, don't you remember? What happened to Dr. Sims? He's been stabbed. You don't remember, Mikey boy? We killed him. He was getting in the way. What do you mean, we killed Dr. Sims? Don't you get it, Mikey boy? You and me, we're both one and the same. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. I get it. You're the shapeshifter. You're wrong again, Mikey boy. In case you haven't figured it out, I don't exist at all. I'm you, and you are me, and we're all together. Get it? <laughs> no, I don't get it. How can you and me be the same person? I'm your dark world counterpart, Mikey. A manifestation of your own sick mind. If you don't believe me, grab the knife and try to kill me. Come on, Mikey boy, give it a try. Oh, God. <laughs> we're too late. I should have known. 
never let myself be fooled by that letter Dawson gave me. Uh, I don't know about you, but I feel sick. I've never seen anything so horrible. Oh, looks like Mike off the doctor and then off himself. What a mess. Well, at least it's all over now. I still can't believe it. Mike Dawson, a serial killer. He was sure busy the last few hours. Killed Mayor Fleming, Doc Larson, Paul Cooper, and his psychiatrist all in one day. One thing's for sure. I'm gonna be having a few nightmares myself over this one. Oh, Mike, there's no need to thank me for returning your mom's butcher knife to you. It's the least I could do for ruining the ancient's plans again. Well, as they say, the third time's the charm. It's too bad you couldn't get to first base with Rita either, Sheriff. Then we'd have your head hanging on our power generator, too. Horrified by what you see, Deputy? You'd be even more horrified by what your dark side is capable of. What's the fucking Deputy having a seizure? This glass key looks like something out of a fairy tale. Too bad real life doesn't always have a happy ending. That's it. Uh, hope you liked the game. I didn't. Uh, goodbye. You're gonna be watching a Moogle now. <laughs>